have the spawn wand, which is this, and this connects to the backpack. So we're just going to grab the backpack here, which is hung up on uh, the wall dock. So this is a lightweight, comfortable backpack, um, which fits any user. So the first thing to do is we're going to uh, undo the belt and put the shoulder straps on. Okay, so adjusting the straps, you can pull these to get it nice and tight. You can loosen them as well. Okay, so you want these nice and tight so that the, the battery is on the waist. And you've got a belt here, which keeps the battery hooked to your waist. So the, the battery, which is um, one of the heavier components, is, is actually on your hips. There's no weight on the shoulder straps. Some of the backpacks, when you put it on, you know, you can feel it pulling backwards. But it's really, really, this one is very comfortable. Um, the weight of the disinfectant and the battery, you actually carry it on your waist, not on your shoulder straps. One advantage with our system is that you don't need to take the backpack off to refill it. You can just quickly change the bottle or refill it and keep the backpack on. This is a, a quick refill. You just simply unscrew the cap like so. On the end of here, you've got filter. So it's important just to check that that is clean and um, keep an eye on that basically, that the mesh is, is there as you're using it because this will stop the jet from blocking up. Okay, so you fill this with your disinfectant, put that into there, screw the cap on, and put that into the belt. We use a coiled cable and a coiled water pipe. So this is flexible. It gives you the maneuverability when you're going around spraying the disinfectant. We also use military grade connectors. Uh, the military actually use these metal connectors uh, on their radios. So we've been using them for three years, They're extremely reliable. On the top here, you've got two red dots. Just line up the red dots and click into place. The water line is, this just pushes into there like so, make sure they're pushed in tight. You've got a blue switch on here which activates the pump. So this is a demand switch, you hold this down to make it spray, so we should be ready to go. Okay, so we're now spraying the disinfectant. from the backpack, very, very easy, just grab the two textured areas and pull it apart, it's got a special uh, spring mechanism inside there. And then to disconnect uh, the check valve, just pull back the Y connector and that pulls out, okay? So um, you notice some dripping coming out there, that's the chemical flushing out of the system when you dis disconnect it. Um, leave the check valve on the pipe connected to the backpack because this stops the liquid siphoning out when you're not using it. Um, you can also connect this on the bell like so. Enter to prime the pump because Pumps, um, sometimes you get air in them and they do need to uh, be primed. So if you need to prime the pump, what to do is take the water pipe out of this fitting, because this is a check valve. Just simply put that into the bottle 
and I'll lift it out so you can see it. You can make, you can prime it like that. Uh, you want to hear that very deep, high, uh, powerful noise of the pump spraying the liquid. Okay, so that's now primed. You can reconnect and you're ready to go. Hopefully you've learned uh, everything you need to know about our new Storm product. We do have lots more videos and we're working on more and more videos uh, as we speak as well regarding uh, our recommendations on chemicals, what you need to know about uh, disinfectant chemicals and also um, what to look out for on the surface, what you need to know about contact time, how long the surface should stay wet for, what you need to know about coverage, uh, about gaps on the surface, how to create a perfect liquid layer, uh, everything you need to know about application. Uh, so check the bottom of this video, you'll see there's other videos to learn more. Thanks again.